in the x-axis take down the value has a 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 I have taken x-axis scale as 5 cm because uh, approximately taken 5 ampere as my I0 value. Take theta naught value 78 as approximately. Place this graph like this side. Now I am going to mark 78.94 take approximately as a 78 you can see here right take the scale up to 1 cm draw line I am drawing from 5 to 4 this one is O O dash and the angle is theta naught draw a perpendicular line from O dash I'm sorry draw a parallel line to x axis from O dash and then you have taken a 5 SCS uh, 0 0.3079 Theta of SE value will be 72 degree. You can uh, take a cos inverse of this value, it will become 72 degree. Again, take this and place it on a y axis. Now I'm going to mark 72 degree. This one is 70, 71, 72. Draw a straight line, mark it as a theta SC. Next, for calculating OA, we are going to calculate ONA ISNC, that is OA length is ISC by root 3. ISC value is 7.54. We have got from uh, this value the short circuit test by root 3. I'm just dividing is 4.33. This one is OA value from O is 4.3. I'm just marking it as A. Now I'm joining O dash and A. Now I'm going to take a perpendicular bisector for O dash and A. Take more than half. The line which cuts the that is a uh, I have drawn a parallel line. It's uh, the line which cuts it is called the center of the circle. With this center, I'm going to draw a semicircle from taking a C and O dash as radius. This circle will definitely cut at A. The O dash and A line is called a output line. 
and then uh, I'm going to extend A below to find the location of the point E here there's a formula uh, there's a AF is equal to AE plus EF AE is equal to R2 dash EF by R1 this is the formula to calculate the E I am taking 0.9 as E now join O dash and E this one is a torque line now this one F and D A and E line is called a rotor copper loss and E and F is called a stator copper loss F and D is called a fixed loss this a power circle diagram is over you can take a look of this uh, perfect power circle diagram it looks nice with this diagram the experiment is over thank you for watching